Hi guys, how you doing? Did you remember about the insects? Did you look and see what kind of insects fly and which ones crawl? It's a little, a little wet and cold out there yesterday and today. So maybe you didn't get outside, but maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow it's supposed to be nicer so you can get outside and you can look for all the insects. But I know you did it because I saw the videos and the pictures you were making your own and you were doing the worksheet so nice. You colored it in and you glued it. Good job. Good job. One of the videos that I saw was Aria's and her mom and her friend Sakshi. And they were doing a science experiment. And I thought, what a cool idea to do a science experiment. And I think you would like to do this. So what I thought I would do is I'll do it for you on the video. And then when we're all done, you could do it with your mom and dad. Okay? And then you could do other ones also. So this science experiment, you got to have a plate. You see the plate? And I'm going to put water in the plate, just like that. Not a lot of water, just a little bit. And then I have pepper. I'm going to take the pepper. I'm going to pour the pepper on the water. Watch. Put the pepper on the water, just like that. See how it's all over the water? It's floating right on top of the water. It didn't go under the water. It's floating on top. Then I'm going to take a little bit of soap right on my finger and I'm going to touch the water. Let's see if anything happens. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It goes away from the soap. Look at, yeah, there it goes. See that? It went away from the soap. It, it does that because it's floating and pepper likes to float. And then when the water gets all messed up from the soap, the pepper can't float, so it moves away so it can keep floating. It's a very cool thing. You could actually do other things that float and sink. So here's our worksheet. The worksheet will tell us. And the worksheet says sink or float. What's the first thing you do? You always do when you get your worksheet. Gotta what? Write your name. Don't forget to write your name. And then you look, and on this worksheet, there's some pictures. There's a log, a wooden log, there's a key, and a magnet, and a ducky, and there's an apple, and I think that's a bowling ball. And so you have to decide, are these things going to sink or float? So if you think it's going to sink, you're going to draw a square. See how you draw a square so nice? Like that, straight, straight, straight. So you're going to draw a square around the things that sink and you're going to draw a circle just right around around the things that float and what would be really cool would be that if you don't know that you could try it put some water in a bowl and then try to float a piece of wood doesn't have to be a log could be like a popsicle stick or a little stick you could try to float a magnet and a key see if they float you could check and see if an apple floats or a piece of an apple or a ducky. I think duckies float. And then this is a bowling ball. You don't have to use a bowling ball. You could use something else, like a smaller ball, a marble maybe. So see if you could do that experiment also. See what floats and sinks. You could try other things like paper or pencil or um, what else? Piece of fabric, something like that. And on the web, on the email that I did for you, I gave you a website of all kinds of science experiments. So you can have a great time doing the science experiments. What I wanted to say was, this is just like when we wash our hands. So you wash your hands, you have all the germs are all over your hands because you touch things all the time, right? And the germs are there and you want to get rid of the germs. Here's what happens. The germs are what's making people get sick. So we don't want germs, right? That's why you guys stay home for a little while because people are getting sick and you don't want to get sick. So we got to wash our hands a lot and we have to do it nice and strong. So the germs are all over your hands and then you wash them. How many seconds? 20 seconds. So you do the palms and you do the backs and you do in between and you do the thumbs and you do your fingernails and then you rinse them under the water. And the germs will skedaddle just like the pepper did. Goes right away from that soap. Germs don't like soap. You use soap, no germs. Do it as many times as you can every day. Every time you touch something or put your finger in your mouth, you have to wash your hands 20 seconds. That's the deal. All right? 
Now, the other thing I thought would be cool would be a craft, and this craft is very sciency. So you can take a piece of paper. Remember, you don't have to, but if you want to, take a piece of paper and a glue bottle. And you're gonna take the glue bottle and you're gonna make a design on the paper with the glue. Remember I say you have to just squeeze a little bit, but this, this craft, you could squeeze a lot. Squeeze and make a nice design just with the glue bottle. Then you take some salt. It's a salt and pepper day. You take some salt and you pour it on the glue. So it makes like a line of salt all over the paper. Then you could take watercolors or you could take food coloring and you just touch one little part of that salt with the watercolor or the food coloring and then you tell me what happens, all right? You take a picture and a video so we can see what happens to that paint when you just touch one little tiny part of it. And then you could do it in another little tiny part. See, tell me what happens when that, when that happens, when you do that. It's really kind of cool also. Science is so fun. And science is learning about change. What happens when you change something, what happens to the outcome? So what happened to the pepper when we changed the surface of the water? The pepper moved. That's all science is, just change. It's always change. We have to learn about change because then we can learn about stuff. All right, you're helping mom, you're putting your toys away, you're cleaning, you're wiping down the, the, the light switches and the doorknobs and making your bed. I want to see you make your bed. You're helping mom cook. Cooking is science. Cooking is science. It's making a change. And you can watch when you put the things together, like let's say you're going to make broccoli, right? So when you first see the broccoli, it's raw, so it's nice and hard and crisp. Then when you cook it, what happens to it? You have to figure that out. Let me know. When you put all of the flour and the chocolate and all of that together, and it's like liquid, but when you put it in the oven and you take it out, what changed? That's what cooking is, it's science. All right, so you're gonna help mom, you're gonna stay clean and get rid of those germs, and you're gonna do some science this tonight and tomorrow. And you can do science the whole time. Science is so cool. All right, remember, I love you, I miss you, but we're gonna be together soon. You keep washing your hands so we can be together soon, okay? All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.